Guess what we're about to do? Stuff this salmon with some spinach, cream cheese, some peppers, all that good stuff. And actually, we're going to feed a family of four for under $30. Mm -hmm. That is $7.50 each. Let's get into this lineup. And while you can't sleep on Audi when you're balling on a budget, look at that. It's nice and thick, too. Mm -hmm. Have some cherry tomatoes, some garlic, Monterey Jack, and Parmesan mixed here. I picked up their fresh garlic. I picked up their branded butter, their branded cream cheese, some mixed peppers. I've never tried their olive oil, so I picked that up as well. Heavy cream. Also picked up some of their Brussels sprouts. Already has some fresh spinach. And let's get to the dry ingredients. Look at this, Cajun Raging. My grandma Emily would be so proud the way you guys are keeping it sold out on the website. I truly appreciate it. Also using some Slap Your Mama, black pepper, Old Bay seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, game changer, nutmeg. Also going to add some Parmesan cheese and some sour cream. Let's get it going. I'm one of those ones that I prefer my skin on. So hopefully you can see this, guys. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Cajun Raging. And honestly, I just measure with my soul. So, just season it to your liking. By the way, you can get this at www.shoppickaplate.com. Cajun Raging is very good on fish, vegetables, and especially seafood. Okay? Now we're going to add a little slap your mama. We're going to let this go in a refrigerator for about 20 minutes while we work on the stuffing, okay? Okay, so now, don't be upset with the way I cut my peppers, guys. I am not traditionally trained. So, I just go with what I know. Apologies to anyone that I'm issue with But hey, cooking for me is fun. First of all, I went on to change knives. I'm just going to slice the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes in half. so clumsy guys I know better it's easier to add it like this yes okay so we're just going to give that a quick sear some people like to season their peppers but we'll be okay we don't want to overpower it 
unless you want to add some of that henna mint. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to add Emily Seasoning Henna Mint. Shoppickaplate.com. And it smells so good, guys. It's great on vegetables. So after about two minutes, you want to remove the peppers and tomatoes from it. Yes, I'm going to use little kitchen helpers is what I call these scissors right here. And I just like to cut up my spinach this way. Makes it easier. So, because the cream cheese has been setting out, it's room temperature. Just gonna go ahead and use the whole packet. It was only under $2 for this, so whatever I won't use, hmm, maybe I'll find something else to stuff. So because it's soft and that's it there. That's pretty much the whole packet. Well, it's a little more left in here. We're gonna get all that, guys. Let's get Okay, so we have the cream cheese. Now, the garlic. I only want the juice of the garlic. Again, I'm measuring from my soul. And I'm going to add some of the garlic powder. A little of the onion powder. All of the peppers and tomato. Go ahead and add some of the cheese up in there. Mm -hmm. I melted about a tablespoon of butter, but I'm not going to use all of it. Maybe I did. I'm not sure. Oh, can also add a little bit of Cajun Raging. Then we're going to go ahead with the fresh spinach. Go ahead and get that oven on. Or we're gonna add nutmeg, just a little, give it a little nutty flavor. Now we're gonna just mix it all up. That's the cream cheese, the pepper, the tomato, the fresh spinach, butter. Nutmeg, the Cajun region, garlic powder, onion powder, and that's it. That's all we need to stuff our salmon. You see that? Okay, in the same skillet that I did the tomato and peppers, I'm going to melt some butter and a little of olive oil. So I just took the salmon out of the refrigerator and we're about to add it face down to the skillet to hold on. Just getting a little sear on the salmon. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on. Okay, okay. So all four should uh oh. Oh, for I almost forgot to show you guys. I picked this up from Audi as well. Let me just spray it down a little. Let's see. I am not a fan of how my salmon is breaking up on me. Like, this is how I've always done it. But you know, Oh, well, we're going to work this out, baby. Watch. And it's still going to be good. It may not look as good as pick a play food, but let me tell you, baby, it's still going to be good. We just got to do things a little differently. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Guys, the salmon is breaking up with me. 
did nothing different. Nothing. But you know what? It's still gonna, it may not look as good as pick a plate presentation, but I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely gonna taste good, good. Cause we got the good, good over here, baby. Hold on. Okay, so you know what? Let's just do it this way because, yeah. We gonna work it out. 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 Watch. All is not lost, baby. Just keep going. No matter what you're doing in life, if it's not working out, just keep going until it does. Trust me. Eventually, it will all come together. Yes, it will. We're gonna work this out. Yes, and of course, I probably should have had on my gloves, but oh well. Hands are clean, and we're about to get this thing in the oven. Okay, so I'm checking in to make sure you're still there so you can see what's about to go in the oven. Watch this. Okay, so the oven is ready. It's on 425 for about 25 minutes. I'm going to put just a little bit of butter little butter yeah so had to change it up a little bit because I saw and start breaking up with this but it's going to still taste good you'll see okay I'll go ahead and start on these brussels I like to cut the stems and then go down the middle and I like to put the fallen leaves off to the side. Then I'm gonna put them in a the strainer so we can clean them off. I'll show you what we'll do with these later. Again, I am not classically trained, so the method that I'm using is my way, and it's not for everyone. Okay, so we're gonna go back with some of the olive oil, some garlic powder, some black pepper. Don't forget the henna mint is great on vegetables. Shoppickaplate.com. Look at that. Smells so good and does wonders on our vegetables. Shake that all up. Get it ready for the skillet. Butter and oil will be in the skillet. Let's go ahead. Okay, so the skins, just gonna go ahead, add some olive oil, some more of that henna mint. Then we're gonna toss that up and wait for our Brussels to cook down and add these the last five minutes. Okay, look at that, looking good. Now this is where I like to add a little water. Okay, so we're gonna add the skins, last five minutes. Start it up in there. And then, for flavor, we're gonna add a little bit of balsamic glaze. Just a little. Let's 
mix that up. We're about to check on that stuffed salmon in a minute, guys. Hold on. Okay, let's see how this is looking. Ooh. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes. We can go ahead and remove the foil and let it cook for about another 10 minutes. Okay, so we're about to get this rice started. Tablespoon of butter. I like to add sesame oil to my rice, so we're gonna add a little bit of that. Then we're gonna go ahead and add two cups of rice. This is one cup so far. Let's go ahead and add the second cup. Y'all see them Brussels back there, right? Okay, had to switch the pan. Okay, guys, here it is before we make that homemade cream sauce. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon and a half of minced garlic to a little tablespoon of butter. We're gonna go ahead, brown it up, but don't burn it. So do this for about a minute. Let's go ahead and add the heavy cream. I'm gonna do about two cups. I measure from my soul, guys. So after about two minutes, we're gonna go ahead and add some garlic powder, as much as you like. Go ahead and add some black pepper, as much as you like. Okay, so we cannot forget the Cajun raging. Just, just add a little bit. Go ahead and hit it with a little nutmeg. Let's go ahead and add a little side cream. Give it all a stir. We had a little of the cream cheese, pepper, and spinach filling. We're gonna go ahead and add that. Told you nothing goes to waste here. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of half and half. I mean, this would be so good if you add a cup of white wine, but because we have underage enjoying this meal tonight, we can't do that. I decided not to use the fresh peeled garlic, but it will not go to waste, trust me. Okay, you see the bubble, guys? We're gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese to this. Add as much as your heart desire. I measure from my soul, okay? Let's go ahead and add a little bit of Obey. Let's go ahead and add some of that fresh spinach. A little more, yep. If it's a little too thick, just add a teaspoon of water and it'll thin it out. Or pasta water if you made pasta, but we're not doing pasta today. Okay, let's see. So, we're about to get our salmon plated on here. This is about to be so good. Here's that cream sauce. Look at that messy, messy. Mm-hmm. Okay, now look at that. Mm-hmm. Looking good, looking good. And we still have the three pieces here. We ready to get this show on the road, baby. Enjoy. Real good, like that good. Yes. That's it. Mm-hmm. Done. So good. 
If you want to see what I'm going to cook next week, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Cooking Girl Chronicles.